is because they dress nice up fair. Tell them, say, I am not saved. Yeah, I am not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of a man. The things that God, I feel I'm trying to behave. Set your neighbor's head and say, oh, neighbor, God's going to set me up real good. Now clap your hands. Give it glory! church he stole so bad that he stole silverware <laughs> not the good kind just regular old silverware 10 for a dollar y'all not y'all understand what I'm saying and I said well I said why you got all the silverware in your pocket he said well I, I just stole them I said what you gonna do with them I don't know I said just go put them back I said, you're going to steal something from me, steal something that's worth something. You understand what I'm saying? We, we, we don't even have a clue as to how God has set up the heavens. And the book of Romans tells us that what we see in the earth is only a glimpse of what God has in heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You got to lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. See, I'm already talking to God about what I want to do when I get there. Y'all not saying nothing. I said, God, give me a commission. Just put me over something. Give me a proof. And, and when something ain't right, send me. Y'all not saying nothing. When you got some, some entities that's out of whack and ain't doing right, send, let me whoop them real good. <laughs> y'all not saying nothing. See, y'all don't know nothing about the battle of Armageddon. Y'all don't know about that, huh? When we the saints return. Y'all don't know nothing about that, do you? Huh. Y'all not saying nothing to me? Yeah. See, that six, that seven dispensations. We're in the sixth dispensation right now. There are only seven. So that means there's one more dispensation. The sixth dispensation is the dispensation of grace. That's what we're in right now. The opportunity for all of us to be saved. After this dispensation, there's no more. Only the seventh. And the seventh dispensation is the return of divine government. Touch your neighbor and say, you might die before we get here. But you ain't got long. History has already showed us we've gone through five dispensations. We're in the sixth one right now. Only one coming after that. And that's divine government. But see what's going to happen. Uh, I don't have time. I'm over, I'm over here. The Bible says two shall be in the field. But one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Yes, Two shall be grinding at the meal. Yes, the one shall be taken. The, in other words, those who walk with God don't start disappearing. Yes, yes. That's going to happen in the sixth dispensation. Yes. So let's just say, come on, brother. Come on, brother. I'm saved. You ain't saved. I'm living for God. You ain't living for God. Don't tell about it. <laughs> come, prophet. You say he ain't saved. Right? You living for God. No, you say he ain't saved. You living for God, he ain't living for God. Right? So what's going to happen is you just going to disappear. Go. Now, prophet looking for him, but they were just together. See, two of them going to be at work together. One of them going to be taken. The other going to be left. Right? So now prophet is going to wonder what happened to his friend. Because he just disappeared. Right? And, and, and it's going to start happening all over the world. And when it happens over the world, all over the world, the Bible says, then Lucifer is going to give to a man his power. A human. And that man will be called the Antichrist. 
-hmm. Watch this. And he's going to rise up. And if he's not already in a position of power, he will rise up and take a position of power. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? And he's going to come up with a remedy for these strange occurrences that's going to cause peace to begin to spread. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? And the Bible says for seven years on the earth, there will be peace. Are y'all with me? But in those seven years, watch this. Those who have disappeared, they are what you call rapture. That means God has taken them. Are yeah. oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Rapture was mentioned in the Old Testament because that's what happened to Enoch. Yeah. The Bible says, and he was not. Yes. God took him. Raptured him, right? So people going to get, basically, they're going to get kidnapped. <laughs> God going to drive by. In a big old white man and start abducting, <laughs> just abducting folk. Get, come here. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? I'm going to get in that van willingly. For real. Y'all not saying nothing. Because that's what it means. The, the, the etymology says to be taken or kidnapped, abducted. All right? So, so they're going to be raptured up. They're saved. But then he's going to extend another opportunity for those who are not saved to receive him. In that seven year period, in order to be saved, you got to get your head cut off. You're going to have to be willing to die for the gospel. And it's not because God wants your head cut off, but the Antichrist is going to send out a decree. And it's already happening. It's already happened. It's already in motion took place three years ago when I was in California. They were already, three years ago, in the bank getting a chip put in their wrist. Yeah. Yeah, sure. The book of Revelation says that they're going to give the mark of the beast. See, y'all thought it was literal numbers. And they will receive it in their palm or their wrist. All times the Bible says palm, it talks of wrist. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Or in their foreheads. Now watch this. They've already made a statement that the only place that this, this uh, chip works is in the wrist or the head. And the purpose of this mark is so that people will be able to buy and sell. All right? The Bible says that the Antichrist is going to enforce this law because what this law will do is it will bring every nation under one world order. See, I don't have to call and let my bank know anymore when I'm out of the country because there's a chip on your car. Have you noticed that they made it mandatory now? Yes. Y'all not saying that. Oh. They made it, it, every card had to be recalled. Yes, sir. They have to put the chip on the card because the chip, watch this, it contains all of your information. Mm -hmm. And they can track you by the chip. Anytime. Go ahead and commit a crime if you want to. Y'all not saying nothing. Now here's what's dangerous. If you let them put something in your body, you have no clue. As to what they can do just by the push of a button. Come on now. Y'all not saying nothing. Yes. Y'all not saying nothing. The Bible spoke of this, right? So when the Antichrist comes, he's going to make this world law, right? And when he makes it world law, it's going to cause all governments to come together, right? And for seven years, there will be peace, right? In the seven years of peace on earth, those of us that have been raptured, we're going to be up in heaven training. Y'all yes. not saying nothing. Yes. Learning how to fight. Yes, sir. Not right. mortal combat, right. but immortal combat. Y'all yes. not saying nothing. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. 